So I've put in, I've, I've started the painting with the background and it's a mixture of phthalo green and carmine and it gives a nice dark, this is not very dark, it's a middle gray, but I can go back and really darken it up if I need to, like in some of these areas. Then I, using the same mixture, came down and started this shadow of the apple. And again, since it's backlit, the shadows are going to run into objects. They're going to create unity because all of these objects are sharing the same shadows. And it's almost like, you know, digging stuff out of the ground. It's partially shown. And then the rest of it's kind of dark shadows. That's what's going to happen throughout this painting. And then I dropped this shadow color. I started here. Then I dropped in more of the carmine, which is the the basic ingredient of this color that I'm and the shadow color that I've started with. And then I ran it down here and then I dropped in a warmer red. I, oh, I, and I, yeah, so I dropped the carmine in here. It bleeds into the shadow, which is fine because we can shadow. call it reflected light. Yeah. And then uh, I came down here and it, this seemed to be a little more of a warmer red. So I dropped uh, a pyrrole red and a little bit of leaf green into this sh uh shadow color that I put down. I did the same here with the vase and I dropped in a mixture of uh, sap green and quinacridone gold here. The white stripes will be blue because they're in shadow. And then it's basically I'm over here I'm working with this teapot which is also backlit and it's I'm, I've chosen, maybe we may not all agree that it's green, but I've chosen that color and then I'm going to mingle a warm yellow in there and that will uh, hopefully from the reflected light from the other objects over here. So here I have gone in and put a secondary color and value change in the flower. Also put some shadows on the little ball flower things and obviously put the little circles into the, the little ceramic piece. Also modeled the top of that a little bit and I began a little bit of shadows on the wooden mallet in the background and finally maybe a little bit of yellow in the flesh of the apple. Using the the same shadow color of the carmine and phthalo green, I went in and created the apple shapes on the left and I just covered both the apples and then their their shadows. And then I dropped in a little bit of, I think, Naples yellow and a little bit of red on the edges and in the shadows there. I glazed a little more in the teapot with a, maybe like a cerulean blue. I put some more detail in the flower, more small dark purples around the center and other parts of the flower and it introduced some green in there put a, uh, a little more color into the mallet in the background. Here I modeled the apples on the left a little further. Went in with uh, small lines to create the wood grain in the cutting board. And then with the same color, I went back in and gave it a general cover. And if some of the little lines were wet, they would sort of rub out so that I wouldn't have distinct lines running everywhere. So there's just a suggestion of the lines. I also went in and worked with the shadow between the teacup and the apple. I put in a little bit of lighter reds into the apple itself. And then I began putting stems in the flower vase. I worked a little bit on the apple in the foreground and worked on a little bit on the stems, the green rosemary-like stems under the flower. I also felt that I needed to bring the table down. 
the reason I did that is I wanted the little dark between the flower vase and the yellow ceramic piece behind the larger ceramic piece. I wanted that little rectangular dark in there that I wasn't really going to have in the original drawing. It also will give the top of the teapot a little contrast as I get it darker. You can still see the table line and I will take that out further by darkening more of the lower part and a little less on the part above. And I need to get rid of those other lines in there and I can just do that by repainting and moving the paint around. Here I've increased the darks in the background and I've rendered the flower a little more, added more color to the wooden mallet, added color to the central apple, worked a little bit on the apple in the foreground and worked further in the glass vase to create uh, the stems. And the glass vase, the stems may not all be exactly as they were, I was working with the vase as a composition, striving for interesting shapes and a variety of colors, all the while still defining the object as a glass vase with flower stems in it. I also worked a little bit on the added color into the stems of the little yellow ball flowers, a little bit of rendering in the, the green ceramic piece. Here I've taken gouache, white gouache, and mixed it with a mixture of viridian and something to gray the viridian, just to adjust the, the viridian so it's not so green and then blended it with white gouache, created the rosemary-like leaves that are under the flower there. You have to be careful with gouache as it always dries darker than what you originally put down. I also added more color to the wooden mallet, a little more color into the apple, and some darks in the glass flower vase. It's interesting to note in the dark background, which again is a mixture of phthalo green and carmine, in certain areas you'll see that some areas it's more green, other areas it's a little more red. You notice around the lower left side of the outline of the flower, I wanted to enhance those basically reddish violet colors. So I made my mixture a little more to the green bias. And then if you go up and there is the little bud above the flower and it's mostly green, and if you'll notice, the background is, has got a lot of red, and that's playing complementary colors. Move over to the right a little bit with the yellow ball flowers, and you see that the background actually goes even sort of purple, complementing the yellow. I think also I darkened the shadows here, strengthened those up, and defined the bottom of the apple a little better. <laughs> 